Hey guys, what's going on? Today we're going to take a look at one of the cooler features in the Windows 11 23H2 release, that being the Volume Mixer feature. I don't know why, but this video made me kind of think of way back in the day, probably the late 90s to early 2000s with all the uh, creative, I think that was the brand name, sound cards and speakers. Anyways, I digress. So here is the, if you click on the speaker guys, you're just going to get your normal master volume here. You can slide that up and down. That's going to control the master volume level for your system. Now if you click here, we can select a sound output and this will give us some additional options. So if you want to select a different default output device, that's here ready for you. And then also if you come down here, you're going to have the volume mixer. And in this view, we can just adjust the volume for the I believe this is the system volume, so system sounds, and then every application that you have open. If you close applications, these will come and go as you open and close the applications. So really cool. We can adjust the volume here for each application uh, at a single click just by clicking here and then the mixer. Another way to open the, I'm sorry, let me show you the advanced volume mixer here, or the actual volume mixer. This is where it gets really cool in my opinion, guys. We can up here we can select our default output and our default input devices and we can change those. But then down here is where it gets even cooler. Per application, again, we have the volume slider or the mixer here, but then we have a drop down per application. So if you want to change the output just specific to Chrome, let's say, maybe your kids are, you know, on a second or third monitor, you're trying to keep them busy while you're working, you have something playing for them and you want that to come out of the speakers. Great. Now you're working on something, maybe you're in a meeting. Now you need that to come out of, you're probably not in a meeting if your kids are watching a video, but anyway, you get the point. You want that to come out of the, sorry, the output device, you want that to come out of the headset. You have the option to do that. So very granular, a lot of flexibility, a lot of customization, and I think a lot of us will appreciate this because it's been a long time coming for Windows. So another way to get to this, guys, is if we just come straight down here at the speaker, we right click that and we can say open volume mixer. So a really cool feature in my opinion. Um, I'm surprised Windows didn't roll this out a long time ago without having to use any type of third party applications to give you this level of granularity. A lot of people don't even realize that you know Windows has a system volume or a master volume but then a lot of times there's individual volume levels for applications. And then you even take it a step further, like if you had Chrome, you can set the volume level there, but then you, maybe you're using YouTube within Chrome, there's another volume level there. So there's more than meets the eye with the, uh, with the volume in Microsoft Windows. And now with this 23H2 feature that they've implemented, it gives us a lot more control over that. So thanks a lot, guys, at Microsoft. I will give you two thumbs up for this one. Great job on the volume mixer. I hope you guys enjoy this type of content. If you gain any type of value from it, consider hitting that thumbs up button. Please subscribe to the channel. I'm still trying to grow it, so your support is very much appreciated. And again, if you like this type of stuff, hit the notification bell. That way you don't miss any of my future content that I have coming out. I've got a few videos on the way where I'll be diving a little deeper into some of the new features in 23H2. So stick around, guys. There's more to come. I hope you all have a great day, and until the next one, take care. Thank you.